everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would do a little updated flip through of my A5 quilted agenda. This agenda uh, is available on my Etsy store. So if you want to get one, you can get one. Uh, I'll put the link in the description box as well. And yeah, let's get right into it. So first off, I'm going to open it up. And here is my current uh, cover page. So I'm going to do um, updated videos every now and then depending on the season. Currently we are in October. It's spooky season and that's why I have her up here. So this is a printable that I purchased off of Little Magic Prints um, Etsy or not Etsy. She has a website off her website and um, it's just Sabrina from the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, a little kind of um, graphic image of her. I love it. It's really cute and it's very in the theme. I also love it because it's very in the theme of my chic sort of minimal planner. This is not totally minimal, but um, it, it is a little bit more basic than some other illustrations out there that are like a little bit uh, too complicated. I really like this. It's really flat. There are some details on her face, some highlights, but um, not too much. So I really, really love that. And I just secure it on with an Ollie kill. Ollie clip and I love um, little die cuts and things like that to be secured in with an Ollie clip so I can change it out depending on the season. Oh, I'm just noticing now that my lighting is a little off. You can see there's like a little bit of green. I have this crystal um, window window shield and I have a window behind me that um, casts rainbows all over my room. So right now we're getting a little bit green on Sabrina, but yeah, anyways, I thought I would just point that out first. So if you see any distorted color, that's the reason for it. Anyways, moving along over here, here we have some amazing side pockets. The one thing I love about this agenda is there's like a lot of room to store things but in a clean way so you can't see things. So first off my favorite thing my little window pocket I just have this little cutout um, and I inserted this little cardboard planner card that says don't be a lady be a legend. Love that quote. Um, this little cutout card is from cloth and paper. You can use my discount code for the month jwongoct OCT for 10% you're off your regular order. Uh, the 10% off does not work on the subscription box but it does work on their regular items. Um, I just wanted to mention that because a lot of you have been questioning me about that on Instagram so I just wanted to clarify. Um, as well I have some extra Ollie clips just in case I want to secure any loose leaf paper in my planner and I don't have any room back here or over here or if I want it to put it in a visible spot like if somebody gives me a credit card or not credit card sorry a business card or something and I have to return calls I'll just pick one of these and then clip it into a relevant week or section so that I have it um, readily available above here I have some little post-it tabs um, these are from stayology or stayology whatever the brand is it's really cool it has this little windowy thing so you could essentially put it like this but I just prefer it inside because it keeps it nice and secure or you can put it like this. Uh, but I love these because they're super... Th okay, so I don't know where my camera cut off, but I was just talking about these little post-it notes I have. Um, I really like these. These are really nice and thin. And they're also um, plastic, a nice secure kind of plastic. So um, what's great about that is they don't kind of wear out like paper post-it notes um, or page flags, sorry. Uh, they don't wear out like regular paper page flags as fast so I can uh, reuse them and put, adjust them and put them all over my agenda if I need to. So I like that over here and I just let it stick out a little bit. Um, over here I have some um, call cards. I just have this one. I think this one is from either Sessa V or from Cloth and Paper. I can't remember. Oh yeah, it's from Sessa V. I just have this marble call card, which I, I put it here for decoration. I'm definitely not going to use it um, because I like collecting these, but um, typically what a call card is, is if you um, just meet someone and you don't have your business card, you could write down your number and your info and just give them this card instead. Or another way is if somebody wants to give you their number and they don't have a card, they can write it here and you can have it but uh, for my purposes I'm just using this to, for decor just to give a little bit of color and texture in the front pocket so it gives off this nice marble texture. Up here I have another journaling card this one is from cloth and paper as well it just says manifest in the front and then in the back it just has the definition of it which is really really cute so let's continue on. So I just like that to kind of stick out a little bit like that. 
Um, at the back, I just have some dot stickers, and these are the current ones that I'm using in my planner. I switch out the color scheme of my dots uh, per week, and um, yeah, currently I'm just loving these pastel ones. So yeah, and I got those from the Japanese dollar store. Okay, so moving on, let's go to this side of my agenda. So the first tab I open up over here, I'm just gonna flip my cover page. Over here I have a little die cut that I got from Val Free. I made an order from them um, a couple years ago and it came with this cute little image. So I secure that in as well because I, I quite like her, the little chow mein girl. So over here I have side divider tabs and these are all um, the frosted white text divider tabs from Cloth and Paper. I love them as well. I love just the layout of them. Um, it says schedule, list, project, finances, goals and ideas and miscellaneous. I love the layout of that. I also supplement with um, top tabs and the top tabs dividers are frosted dividers that I purchased from the Planner Press. The way I labeled it is with um, a old school Dymo label maker. I just have one. I got it off of Amazon and I use the black Dymo tape and then I just write in my to do's my month my week um, and then at the back I have money oh well or sorry wellness at the back I have wellness and then I also have money to go to the finance section as well so that's how I organize my tabs um, moving on I'm gonna flip through every single page this is is a dashboard that I created and you can actually download this for free off of my coffee page. Um, I'll link that down below and if you go on my coffee page you can, uh, I run it through donations so you guys can donate whatever you want or you can choose not to donate, it's really up to you. But um, you can get this printable there, you can print it out, laminate it and put it in your planner. I also have a bunch of other printables such as wellness print printables, uh, a wellness br uh, bingo printable, I also have um, other dashboards and pocket insert printables as as well and yeah so go check that out and you can follow my page for updates as well and then flipping it over to this side I just have um, this pretty silver sheet that I laminated with my dashboard um, that I got from Michael's Arts and Craft it came with a paper pad over here I have this vellum that has my inbox section on it and you can actually download and purchase this inbox downloadable downloadable insert from uh, my Etsy store and I'll link that down below as well so you can just purchase it and print it out on vellum sheets um, just to give this kind of like nice windowy effect as well um, or you can print it on regular paper it really depends up to you so I like it on vellum so it creates some some sort of a window and then when you flip it over on my to do divider. I just have these post-it notes. These are from cloth and paper as well. One, two, and then urgent. Um, and I just write a uh, running to-do list kind of, um, kind of to-dos that are kind of fast. The faster ones are up here. And then obviously the urgent one is like immediately to do and these ones are kind of like longer term ones so for example I wrote use Sephora gift cards by 98 day expiry so my I have some Sephora gift cards that expire in 90 days so I just I'm just writing that there it's kind of a longer term um, urgent thing so I don't write it on my urgent sticky note I write it on um, the number one sticky note and these came in a cloth and paper subscription box and I did a review on that as well for that month uh, I can't remember which one I'll just put it on the screen but uh, yeah if you guys subscribe to their stationary box you can often find things like this so then moving on I have this running to-do list this is kind of more long-term things or just things that are not super super necessary but like things that I want to keep in mind so um yeah so I just have this running to-do list it's just an eight lotus printable that looks like this and I just divided it into two columns to do to buy I haven't been using this much because I have been using more so this system um and also I have a list sections which I write like long term to buys and wish list type of thing so this I haven't been using this um, that often but I'm just keeping this insert here because I have prepared it and printed it out so I just have that there okay next page I got this little plastic card holder sheet from cloth and paper also from their cloth and paper subscription box but you can I, I believe you can also buy this um, individually as well you can check their website and use my code for 10% off um, so yeah and then these are all stickers from cloth and paper I just have these really pretty functional ones um, to buy to do 
gold foiled ones from cloth and paper and they fit perfectly there and then i also have these ones also from cloth and paper they're kind of transparent sticky dots which are really chic and really nice as well but currently i'm using the pastel ones to add some spice and color um so yeah so flipping it over here oh i just have some random things that i slide into the back pocket to give some deco um i just purchased myself a downloadable file that has all these images i'll i forgot the name of it i think it's lp paper or l l mon paper l something paper i don't remember her name but i'll put it on the screen um and i just purchased a digital file for 12 dollars that has these images and i love that um I love printables because I have so many agendas and I like to reuse the same imagery on all of my agendas and I don't like to uh, think that I'm wasting stickers or whatever so I just print them on regular paper with my color printer and I cut them out and then I just insert them in random places or I cut them out and if I want to paste it on a spread I will use a glue stick so that's kind of like a cheap man's version for unlimited stickers type of thing or unlimited deco so um although it's $12 so you can you might as well buy it from a seller who makes stickers if you're just gonna use it one time but for my ring ring bound agendas I throw out my inserts every week so I don't want to be wasting money on things I'm throwing out if that makes any sense whatsoever uh, purely functional this agenda is if I want stickers and stuff um, that are nicer I put that in my bullet journal for long term and memory keeping so anyways um, going off on a bit of a tangent so month I flip it over and I have this vellum from cloth and paper this is the year at a glance vellum um, I also designed a year at a glance vellum printable on my website you can check that out as well so you guys can purchase that if you can't get your hands on this or if you're living in a country where uh, cloth and paper isn't shipping to you can just download my version it's not exactly the same it's like well obviously it's the same because it's it's the same year but um the design is totally different i have like a black border and different text and uh different text for the for the days of the year as well getting Moving on, I have these inserts from Sesame. They're marble inserts um, and they're just the monthly ones. I bought them at the beginning of the year, so I had the full month. Uh, we're on October right now, but currently I'm using my inserts from cloth and paper. So that's why there's no ruler and no text in these two months right here. So what I'm talking about is, um, I'll just show you in a bit where my monthly spread is, but um, in the week divider tab, I'm just flipping that over because I got these weekly insert printables from um, cloth and paper that include the month. But anyways, you'll see when I explain it. Uh, over here I have these inserts. These are kind of like um, year and month inserts that are kind of for decorative purposes. And um, I actually designed these and they're available on my Etsy store so you can purchase this if you want. So it just has the 2020 year and then it has chill out for the winter months, spring, summer, summer love and then um the fall one i have in the front dashboard i just included all of them in here for now just for storage purposes but typically what it would look like would just be like this it would just be the week and then it'll be the season and then you can go into the month but for now i just have all of them in here because i'm thinking to laminate them but i just haven't had time to do that so I, i'm just putting all of them here for storage purposes not so much for functionality so typically if i flip to my week you would automatically see what season you're in based on my printable insert and i just have this fall in love we're in fall right now okay so i'm gonna go to this little um today tab and this is not actually a tab it's a ruler that comes from cloth and paper and it'll just take me to today and it'll take me to the monthly spread and obviously as you can see i blocked it off i'll insert an image over here of what this looks like filled in uh and blurred out but yeah i'm just blocking it off because i have people's names and stuff in here and telephone numbers so yeah i'm just blocking that off for privacy purposes but this is the spread that i love from cloth and paper and as you can see, again, I'm reusing my printable images as stickers. I'm going to throw this out at the end of the month, by the way. So um, these are just for decorative purposes for temporary ones. And that's why I love digital printables because I can keep reusing the same image. And I'm definitely going to exceed $12 worth of stickers. Um, so that's why I decided to purchase it. But anyways, so that's that. So that's my um, little bookmark for the month for today. I also have another bookmark. I don't know if you guys can see down here there's a today as well and i just flip it and it takes me to the weekly spread again i'm using reusing the same 
stickers, but they're the printable things that I cut out. And then I just have my weekly spread as well over here. Moving along, if you go to the back, if you go somewhere in the middle in this weekly section, I have this right here. Um, this is just like to block off where my different inserts are. But if I'm having a busy day, I typically like to use these daily undated inserts from uh, cloth and paper. So I skip that whole weekly thing and I would just put the, I would just put my, my little bookmark if I can take it out. I would take that bookmark and I would put it here so I would flip to the day. So if I wanted to use daily inserts this bookmark would be here and I would just automatically go to these inserts and I use these only for really really busy days where I have to block off time and be time conscious. That's what that is for but for right now I'm just using the weekly spread so I'm just gonna put this uh, little thing back in here so I know where I am. Um, Additionally, I have other inserts. I have these week on one page inserts from 8 Lotus that I also use as well. So depending on the mood, I use different inserts. And I use the little um, ruler divider today marker to mark off which one it is. So I don't get confused. And the today is stuck out on the bottom. So I know it's like the week. And then the other gold one, I know it's the month. So I don't get confused because that's how I divide it up. So, okay, moving on. The next... Um, tab I have a list sections tab I just have this little planner journaling card from uh, cloth and paper and it says lipsticks Louis and lashes love that I secured it in with some washi tape so that I can um, switch it out whenever I feel like it and um, yeah so that's like a really nice tip if you ever want to switch out the theme of your planners you can always insert things using washi tape uh, if the little clips don't work if your all clips don't work so if it I put it here I just don't like the style of that so I wanted everything flat and that's why I secured it with some washi tape um, over here I have this vellum. This vellum is from Madison Fox Plans, I think that's her name. I don't know, I'll put it on the screen. And it is a um, downloadable image that you can print. And I downloaded this LV planner printer paper and I printed it out with a laser jet printer on some vellum so it looks really cute and chic and it kind of hides some of my lists but at the same time it hides it in like a chic kind of way. And also uh, I love this printable because you can kind of like size it to different different planners as well if you like mess around with your printer settings. So I love that. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So that's there. Okay, over here I have my wish list, my beauty wish list. I write, I love the list section because I use it a lot to jot down my thoughts and ideas and things that I want to remember. So for example, the things I want to remember in on this particular page is um, beauty products that I want to buy. And actually this one is already crossed off the list. I bought the Glow Recipe um, Watermelon Glow Fine Mist, which is this right here. I just have it on my desk. Um, this is really great for hydrating your face throughout the day. I love it and I love the fine mist and spray. Anyways, so I keep a, a list of things. So since I purchased that already, I'm just gonna cross it out. Like that. So I just like to keep a running list of things I wanna buy. Again, I reuse those stickers um, the, from the, which is just images I cut out and I just glue it in with um, a glue stick, which is the cheap man's version of uh, putting in imagery without uh, buying sticker paper. I, I, I really love to save on stupid things like that. Anyways, um, the paper itself, this list paper is from Annie Plans. I'll put her, um, I'll put all the info in the description and I'll blast the name up here as well. Um, so from Annie Plans and it's just a printable A5 insert and okay I don't know where my camera cut off but um, the next page was the movie Halloween fall movie watch list and um, yeah some girl on YouTube read out her movie watch list and I just decided to copy down some of hers and add some of my own onto this so I love this because I can keep this really cute page um, every season and every season I can just flip to it to figure out what movies to play to keep the ambiance going Anyways, next thing, wish list tracker from Cloth and Paper. Love this insert. It's really well thought out and I use it all the time. So right now I just have here for planners, um, planner covers. And then obviously I could write planner accessories, planner charms, whatever I want to write in different sections and then write the wish list out and then write the price and the location and everything. So I just have it for every aspect of my life. I'm not going to show you each one because it's like quite boring. There's like beauty ones and 
all those different ones but yeah anyways moving along i have just this thing uh, i don't know i just have like a random piece of vellum that i cut wrong so um i decided to put it in here anyways to add a little bit of texture uh but places to go is another list of things and then i write the country and places i want to explore or like hot spot destination this is a free printable from day designer um it's a grocery shopping list i have yet to use this but i just like to have it in here um tv shows are in my list section places to go in los angeles um other reminder things not so much things i want to show like passwords um i have that in here as well and my passwords, even though I have the passwords, it's very cryptic. It's like the questions and answer type. So, and and depending on my little symbols, only I will know like for what login it is. So I really don't care to have this in here and out and about either. Um, additionally, what else do I have? I have these Sesa V marble um, notes pages, which I love as well. They're really chic and they're like really nice quality paper. It's like really soft and glossy. Love that. Okay wellness is the next section top tab um i love this um this is a free printable you can get off of my coffee page link in the description box uh too glam to give a damn love that and then i just have my beauty inserts my beauty and skincare inserts are within the wellness sort of section because it brings me joy and i love it so i just have some looks that i made on these face charts that you can actually get off of cloth and paper um it's their beauty routine insert and then I just have it there as well. And then if you move it over here, I also have uh, the skincare routine inserts as well. And I like to track sometimes what skincare I'm using because different formulas could cause breakouts if you don't know what you're doing. So it's a bit of like um, a scientist writing down all the ingredients and stuff, but I love this insert as well. Uh, next thing I have is from the projects tab. I don't know if you can see projects. I have another, um, little journaling card from cloth and paper and it says out of office and then i have um, my projects section and then over here i just have um the back of the this is why i love the frosted dividers because i can do this and then you can still see the image on the back and then it just says some cute little little words here staycation stick days sleep in drink room service naps mani penny zero stress cabana naps very cute and uh for projects section i usually use for more like personal projects not like work projects or series projects so i love that so i have these inserts oh sorry i missed this thing totally but i'm so long that's like my instagram um like branding i guess and i just got this little custom made rainbow that i printed out double-sided off of little magic prints and if you guys want to see how i printed this out double-sided check out my video on that i'll link it in the description as well the um witchy vibes video i show you guys how i print and craft things then i just have a project planner insert these project planner inserts are from eight lotus as well it's a downloadable insert and i just print them out whenever i need them i also supplement with some cloth and paper notes inserts which i store at the very back different notes inserts um from cloth and paper so i just supplement like different spreads by picking it from the miscellaneous and putting it in relevant sections where i need it so anyways let's move on finances super cute um finances tab moving it on i created this sort of snake skin uh insert i'm thinking of whether or not i should start making these and selling them on my etsy let me know in the description box below not description in the comment section let me know if you guys are interested in purchasing um these like snake skin looking inserts and i'll consider posting them on my etsy shop and selling them and uh, let me know what price you guys would actually pay for this i'm not really sure what to list this for um it requires like three different things it requires like a plastic um insert that is like the same thickness as a as one of these dividers and then it requires the actual snakeskin um plastic itself and the sealer so um yeah i don't know let me know in the in the comments down below if you guys are interested in purchasing purchasing um the snakeskin uh insert and i'll consider mass producing them and putting them on my etsy store anyways so i have that this is a removable sticker as well again back to my cheapo reusable techniques um this is just secured on with some looped around washi tape so i can remove this little boss babe and put her in different parts of my agenda or paste it in other uh, notebooks and stuff if i wanted to love that and i love the theme of the boss babe in the finance section i feel like that like really 
re runs thematically with um, a finance section as well. Anyways, the inserts I have, oh, they're actually filled out, so I can't really show you guys. What can I do? Um, they're just the day designer ones. Um, let me see if I have a blank one that I can show you. I do not. Oh, yes, I do. So they're just the day designer ones. And I have my bill checklist. And then I also supplement it with a bunch of uh, blank grid paper, which I write different things. So different um, revenues and stuff that I'm making from different sources. I just like write lists of that, but I'm not gonna, obviously I'm not gonna show you guys. It's like on that side. So anyways, moving along, the next tab is goals and ideas. And I have another little card from um, cloth and paper. Um, this one just says full honor. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it also has the, um, or flannier, I guess, flannier, yeah. The, and then it has the description at the back and it says, one who wanders for the sake of curiosity and exploration. Very cute. Anyways, I have my goals inserts here. These are from cloth and paper as well. You can get them on their website, use my code for 10% off. Um, and yeah, it just has month, one month, three months, six months, one year, and then you can write your goals for different things. So I would write like, I don't know, self-care goals, family goals, I don't know, finance goals, whatever goals, and then you can write down different milestones um, and then just really plan your life out. I'm gonna do this um, closer to the new year. I'm not gonna fill them out right now. So then moving along, I have these other inserts from Little Magic Prints and they're called Dreams and Goals. And I just, um, they're downloadable inserts as well. And I downloaded the image and then I printed it off on A5 size paper. So it looks really, really cute over there. Final one, miscellaneous, you guys already saw, it's just extra notes paper. This is from cloth and paper as well. I love this because you can just circle in the month and the day. Um, and then you could draw on it, you can write on it, you can draw floor plans, you can make vision boards. There's like so many options you can do with um, this insert because it's basically a nice blank page. You can even sketch on this, which is kind of cute as well. Um, and then I just have these really, really crisp looking black as black notes page also from cloth and paper i love the design of it i love how it like cuts into the page it's so chic love that so i have that there as well i also have more supplemental notes from sesavi i love these marble paper um notes pages super cute super chic and her paper is like really nice as well it's like nice and smooth and then finally i have this um shop minted sugar um, divider pocket. I know how to make divider pockets myself, but I just liked this one, um, this design, this palm leaf design. Shop Minted Sugar, really, really cute. Uh, over here I made this. These are just like little um, paper clips that I make that are rose, uh, like rose ones. They're really janky because they're handmade, but at the same time you can't tell because like all roses are imperfect as well. Um, but anyways, I attached that on at the top and it just Keep, gives my planner a little bit of aesthetic at the top like a little black rose is sticking out I love that um, and then I just secure it on um, this little card paper that I got from cloth and paper that has a quote on it as well and then I have postcard I just keep this here because it's cute um, not so much functional but it's like a little postcard that I also got from cloth and paper very cute and then that's it. Um, typically I would have a notebook back here, but currently I'm using that notebook elsewhere, so I don't have it. But you can definitely put in an A A5 size notebook at the black back of this agenda. Just slide the back cover of the notebook here and then you can have it there. Um, over here, there's a big, big pocket over here as well, which is really, really nice. You can obviously insert like um, notes, paper pad or other things as well. So for example, bits and bobs, this is a note pad from cloth and paper really really pretty and it fits perfectly in my back pocket over here so you can have that for on the go as well if you like writing on notepads as well so yeah really cute i love the functionality of this planner there's like so much space for things and it just works it's just like really really smart um so yeah so then i'm gonna go like this this is how you turn all your pages if you have them all you want to lift them to the top and then you want to turn them and then it will, it, so it will prevent like creasing in the side. Anyways, I thought that was like a nice little tip I would include in there as well. So that's that. That is my updated planner flip through. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll do it um, every now and again because I do love to switch things up in my agenda. Um, this agenda is available on my Etsy if you guys are interested. I'll keep the links down below. All the shops that I mention, all the things that I mention, all everything will be in the description box below. My free printables will be 
um, linked down below. Everything will be linked down below. If you have any other further questions that I forgot to cover or if I didn't um, link something, let me know comment down below and I will make sure to update for everyone and yeah that's that I hope you guys enjoyed this video I enjoyed filming it and I'll see you guys in the next one